Gomez served on the World Press Freedom Day, Azerbaijani Media Watchdog Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety presented its annual and quarterly reports on freedom of expression situation in Azerbaijan for the year 2012 and the first quarter of 2013. The situation around freedom of expression continues to deteriorate in Azerbaijan. Since the beginning of 2013, dozens of physical attacks on journalists have been recorded. Several media representatives remain in prison, heavy fines are imposed on opposition media, and the authorities are trying to exert control over social media, said IDF's chairman Amin Husseinov. Husseinov regretted that the authorities are unwilling to start dialogue with civil society on issues of freedom of expression. As evidence of this, Husseinov reminded the participants how the authorities refused to take part in a conference organized by IRFS and its partners with support of the OSC office in Baku on May the 2nd and ignored the problems raised at this conference by organizing their own event and stating that situation with media is satisfactory. While Husseinov challenged this statement, saying that situation remains grave. Murders of journalist Elmar Husseinov in March 2005 and journalist Rafik Tage in November of 2011 have not been solved yet. Seven journalists remain behind bars on politically motivated charges. Husseinov welcomed the release of Hell TV journalists arrested last March in connection with the mass riot in Cuba City, but added that suspended sentence imposed on the journalists has a negative impact on their right to freedom of expression. The two reports of IDFS assess a wide range of issues related to freedom of expression, including violence against journalists, their prosecution and arrest, situation of online expression, court fines against independent media, etc. The annual report lists the names of public figures who have been particularly unfriendly to free expression. The list includes President Ilham Aliyev, Minister of Emergency Situations Kemal Atin Heydarov, etc. In its reports, IDFS also put forward a number of recommendations for the authorities to improve the situation, which call for the release of imprisoned journalists, punish those responsible for crimes against journalists, the criminalized defamation, etc. After they went, a group of media representatives and human rights activists visited the grave of Elmar Husseinov, chief editor of Monitor magazine, who was murdered on March 2, 2005. Speaking at the journalist's grave, director of Tron Information Agency Mehman Aliyev noted that impunity for this murder and other crimes against journalists encourages new attacks on freedom of expression. He drew attention to unwillingness of the authorities to start a dialogue with civil society and media and their lack of interest in the development of free press. Aliyev urged to stop pressure on the media and release all arrested seven journalists.